hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to create header animation like this using react native reanimated before we dive in please subscribe to my channel to stay updated with new content now without further delay let's get started we will be building this animation within our existing react native ui project in this project i recently added dark mode support Alright, we have the header animation tab. Let's open up animated header 1. You can see here I have created initial designs without animation. Now let's move to the code. I added a screen in the app.js file in our root stack. Then I added header animation list inside our accordion. Here I have passed our navigation route which is header anim. Alright, let's open up the header anim 1 component. Here I have added a left arrow button which is an absolute position. I have also added an image. The image is added in a separate file and imported here. We have the image styles defined here. Here I have set the constant image height. Alright. Also added a scroll view below the image. It contains some text and some horizontal list of items. The map list is a reusable component used to map an array of items. If the data is empty, it will return null. We can pass our custom rendering item similar to a flat list and use this map according to our requirements with or without view. And here I just copied the text and the horizontal map list. All right. First, let's add a gradient overlay above this image. For that, you need to install React Native Linear Gradient. Here we need to pass an array of colors that you want to show as a gradient. Our first and second colors are transparent and our third color is black. So 66% of area is transparent and 33% of area is black colored. Save it. Okay, nothing changed. Let's add styles. Add styles.image overlay. Set the height to be same as image height and make this view absolute by adding stylesheet.absolute fill object. Save it. Alright, now you can see it is clearly visible. Now let's add a view for the sticky header. Add a text component and give it title styles. Here in the constant, we have the title imported over here. Alright. Now you can see here this title looks like this. This is because the image is bigger than its given height. And the scroll view's background hides the extra height of that image. The hidden image is fully visible because of this title text, which is above this scroll view and is transparent. If we add the same style over here, then we can make it hide again. But we don't want to do this. Either we cannot leverage its resize more prop. So let's increase the image overlay height by adding plus 50. Alright, now it looks perfect. The title is on the overlay. Now let's Let's add animation on scroll. We will translate the image in the negative y axis when we scroll. So let's make the scroll view animated. Make sure you import animated from the right module. If you don't get any suggestion, remove this curly brackets. Now you can see we are getting suggestions on scroll and handle scroll. Let's create the handle scroll function. Const handle scroll equal use animated scroll handler. This function will give us an event which returns some events on scrolls. Here we want to store this events value into an animated shared state. Let's create it first. Const scroll y equals use shared value and pass the initial value as 0. Now we can add it here scroll y dot value equals event dot content offset dot y. We need y offset value. Now it will hold the scroll value into this scroll y state. Fix this typo. Now let's make this view animated. Add styles, scroll animated styles. Let's create scroll animated styles. Scroll animated styles equal use animated styles and import it from reanimated. Here we need to return styles object const translate y equal interpolate. And here we need to pass animated value which is scroll y dot value. Add input range which will be started from 0 and end value is 320. Add output range. 
So here we will translate it from 0 to our image height. And here we need to add minus. Here add transform and here add translate y and save it. Now let's check it. We use interpolate to map the scroll y dot value from the input range of 0 to 320 which is scroll value to the output range from 0 to the image height. We use translate y to move the view up and down based on the scroll position. You can notice it is over translating. So let's add clamp here extrapolation dot clamp. Now you can see it works fine. Let's add an animated header view, an animated dot view, add header styles here. Here I have defined this header styles, alright. Let's add header view animated styles. Select scroll animated style, option plus shift plus down arrow to copy the selected lines. Now update this animated styles. Background color equal interpolate color which is used for transitioning from one color to another color. We cannot add clamp in interpolate color. Change its output range, add colors dot dark gray as a second color and transparent as a first color. So we will transition it from transparent to dark gray. Now return this background color here. You can see the header color changing from transparent to dark gray. Alright. Now you can see the title is not looking good here and the back button overlaps it. Let's animate this title. First make this text animated and add title animation in styles. Copy this styles, change this name, remove the color from here and change the output range to be from 1 to 0. Name this opacity. So we will animate the text opacity from 1 to 0 and we are doing fading it out. Yeah, it works. Now let's add another title. Change its style to be title 2. So here you can see our main title has a font size of 32 while title 2 has a font size of 18. We have aligned it centered. Now make this style a function and add false value here and pass true value over here. Now add parenthesis over here and add an argument fed in of type boolean. Depending on this fed in boolean value, we decide the output range. If fed in is true, then range it from 0 to 1, otherwise the range is from 1 to 0. Pass this output range here. Alright, now save and check it. We can see the first title is hidden and the second title is visible on scroll. Here you can notice both titles are visible at the same time. So let's add one more range in both output range and also update the input range as well which is 120 so add scroll offset 120 both text opacity will be 0 alright when you scroll yeah now both titles are not visible at the same time so here the header is taking up some extra space let's fix it Now make the first title's position absolute, but it is still has some issue, the header size is decreased. Now add margin top to 34 in title 2 styles, alright. Now it looks elegant.
Now let's add a scale animation to this image. Convert this view into an animated view and add animated image styles. Copy this and change its name. Remove this and change opacity to scale. Change its input and output range. So when we scroll, we will decrease its size. Its initial value is 1.4 and end value is 1. So initially we scale this image and when we scroll, its value should be decreased to its actual size. Add transform and pass a scale here. Now check it. You can see the initial image size is changed. Alright, it is descaling. Yeah, it works well. Check it on iOS. Yeah, it works. iOS support over scroll. The image is scaling when we over scroll. When we scroll it upward, meaning the native y axis, it should not be over descale. So here add extrapolate right. Extrapolation dot clamp. So in the upward direction, it should not be over descale. Alright, so that is of course not visible, but we should be careful about it. Now let's add some final touches. Now let's make this view animated, add an entering prop here and pass fed in, import it from reanimated, fed in dot duration which is should be 400 and delay should be index into 300, alright. Now you can see items animate one after another. Copy the same view into the second map list as well, alright. So this description text does not look good. So change its style. Let's add text align to justify. Alright. Now because of our image height, the scroll view is not fully scrolled. So let's add container content style. And pass padding bottom to 100. A little bit more. Let's change it to 120. Alright. Let's make this button functional. Now for navigating back, we need navigation. You can use use navigation. You will get navigation from component props. So you can also utilize it here. So in this on press add navigation dot go back. Now let's try. Alright. Everything looks perfect. That's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification when I upload a new video. I'll see you in next one. Till then, take care and bye bye.